Worker matchup. Match the worker with the job. Plumber. Does a plumber make bread, rolls, and cake? Does a plumber fly a plane? Does a plumber build a house? Does a plumber help student learn? students learn? Does a plumber program computers? Does a plumber manage an office? Does a plumber drive a truck, bus, or taxi? Does a plumber fix pipes, water pipes? Does a plumber wait on tables? Does a plumber work in the office? Does a plumber fix cars and machines? What does a plumber do? A plumber fixes water pipes. You got it. What does a teacher do? <laughs> what does a teacher do? Where is that? A teacher helps students learn. A teacher helps students learn. Ding, ding, ding. Number three, what does a baker do? What does a baker do? You got it. A baker makes bread, rolls, and cake. What does a mechanic do? What does a mechanic do? It's all the way at the bottom. Fixes cars and machines. A mechanic fixes cars and machines. What does a secretary do? What does a secretary do? I think a secretary manages an office or helps manage an office. Sometimes they say administrative assistant. Works in an office. Usually a woman. Or an office worker. A secretary. It's like a help assistant. An executive. What does an executive do? I think an executive manages an office. And a driver. What does a driver do? What does a driver do? Ding, ding, ding. Drives a truck, bus, or taxi. Drives a bus, truck, or taxi. What does a pilot do? What does a pilot do? Bing, bing, bing. You got it. A pilot flies a plane. A pilot flies a plane. Very good. What does a carpenter do? What does a carpenter do? What does a carpenter do? That's right. Builds houses. Let her see. But a carpenter builds houses. Uh, well, number 10. What does a computer programmer do? What does a computer programmer do? Programs computers. A computer programmer programs computers. That's right. And the last one, what does a waiter or waitress do? What does a waiter or waitress do? Letter I, waits on tables. Letter I, waits on tables. Say that one more time. Plumber, teacher, Baker, mechanic, secretary, executive, driver, pilot, carpenter, computer programmer, waiter or waitress. The history of workers in the United States, it's, where it's all wrinkled. 100 years ago, life was very hard for most workers. Many people worked 12 or 14 hours a day. They worked six days a week. Their wages were very low. Working conditions were not safe. People got hurt or killed in accidents at work. Young children worked in factories and in coal mines. They fired, oh no. Number three, workers lost their jobs if they complained. Then their families went hungry. Number four, workers joined with other workers. They formed unions. The unions asked for safe working conditions. They asked for shorter hours. They asked for higher pay. 
Give us more money. Number five, many owners of factories and mines were rich and powerful. They said unions were against the law. They put union leaders in jail. They fired workers, joined a union. They killed some union leaders. Number six, some unions went on strike. The workers said, we won't work until we have better conditions. Unfair. Don't work. This is a strike. The, number seven, the owners hired workers who were not in the unions. They hired armies to fight against the unions. So, it's called a scab if, you, if you're a worker during a strike. You're a scab. <laughs> That's a weird word. Some strikes lasted a long time. Workers in other unions helped. They collected money for the striking workers. Today, today there are safety laws for workplaces. There's a minimum wage law. There are laws that children cannot work in mines or factories. Children must be in school. Number 10, there is unemployment insurance for workers who lose their jobs. There is social security for workers over age 65. There are pensions for workers who are disabled. Number 11, Labor Day celebrates all workers. It reminds us that workers are important. Happy Labor Day.